Hello everyone, it is Tuesday night, and I figured why not pop on for a little bit, we can do a little late night bling. I'm going to go ahead and I will drop my website down below in the comments for you. Give me one little jiffy, and we'll get moving. And there it is. I'll go ahead and pin that so it's easier for you to find. If you are popping on, please feel free to say hello and let me know where you're watching from. Also, if you're on my text alerts and you pop in, be sure to drop the word of the night in the description. Or not in the description, in the comments. You will find my social media information in the description of this video but i can be found on tiktok instagram facebook and and no and youtube all prices in this live are going to be five dollars and 24 cents a piece that does include taxes and my shipping is a flat rate fee of four dollars i can invoice and mail immediately but my standard mode is to let you shop with me all week so invoices will be due on sunday and i will ship out monday or tuesday the exception being this week with it being an observed holiday yesterday i'm a day behind schedule but with all that said and done if you would like to get on my text alerts to receive notifications of new boxes any news from paparazzi or to hear of any contests that I might be running, you can sign up for my text alerts at by texting the number 81010 in the text message. Just put the phrase at a HJVIP and you'll get on that text alert. It is 100% free and you can opt out at any time. If you'd like to join my VIP, just leave VIP in the comments and I'll be sure to send you an invite. With all that being said and done, I'm going to go ahead and get our show started for tonight. We are showing a little bit of new and some sets. I think what we'll do is we'll start out with our little bit of new that I've had come in over the weekend and then we will progress from there. I'm just setting up my logbook really quickly and we will get going all right you sent on alerts right yes i did all right we're gonna go ahead and get started and hopefully some friends will pop in to join us we're gonna start the night out with a little bit of color you know me, I like a splash of color. Here we have this yellow ring set in that floral pattern. It is on a wide stretchy back that will fit sizes 6 to 11 quite nicely. And anyone that regularly follows my lives knows that I do have that macro lens. And I've got it right here ready to go. So I'll pop that on and I'll show you up close what we've got going on here. Here, I'm going to pull you a little bit closer to me so I can get in there good and tight. So you can see those high polished yellow stones in the silver antique finish with that little bit of almost like a starburst right in the center there. And there is that wide stretchy back. I've got two of these currently on hand. And the number for these is going to be the number 234. Number 234. All right. Our next piece is going to be one of my favorites as well as a lot of others' favorites. I have a silver micro suede. There's your single snap, and you have the two 
snaps on this end and here is all the rhinestones there's a mixture of cascading rhinestones and chain work and of course I'm going to bring you right up close so you can see every bit of the detail if you are watching this as a replay please feel free to put the hashtag replay in the comments there's Teresa hello Teresa nice to see you tonight there you can see all of those silver rhinestones mixed in between the chain you caught me just in time that's your show to see it yellow ring yeah i'll back up and show it one more time and i will show you your different diameters on this one here is your smallest diameter i hope you are doing well this evening there's your smallest diameter I do have a couple of sets that came in over the weekend that I'll be showing as well. And here is your largest diameter. Right there. And the number for these is going to be the number 220 for that one. Hello, Robin. Thank you for joining me. I'm glad you could pop in for a minute tonight. And I'm going to back up and show that piece that you missed, Teresa. Luckily, we had just gotten started. So I'm going to show you the yellow calla lily. All right. Where's my... How are you, Miss Robin? Haven't had a moment to chat with you in a while. There's that beautiful, bright sunshine yellow and of course i'm going to put that lens on so you can see it Bye, even closer hello barb taking a break from your busyness tonight there you can see those bright yellow stones or yep the bright yellow stones and that antique finish and there's that wide stretchy back good for sizes 6 to 11. and the number for this is going to be the number 234. Number 234, I'm doing great. Well, Barb's here. I'm gonna show her my backpack. Last month, I had that challenge to sell my 45 pieces. And here is what I treated myself to for making my goal. On the bottom, it says unicorns are real. It's an exact match to my unicorn blanket that I have to keep across my lap. So that was my treat for myself. And it's also printed here on the reverse as well. So that was my little treat for working hard last month. All right, what do we have next? We have some turquoise coming out next. This is a turquoise cuff. You can see that gorgeous big blue turquoise crackle. And there's that open cuff. And of course, you got to see it up close. And this is one of the sets that you'll be seeing tonight because I have a necklace. It's an identical match. Look at all that metal work with all that almost like a rope beading all the way around and that generous crackle right in the center and there's your open peekaboo side and the number for this is going to be the lucky number 217 number 217 and i'm going to hold on to that and i'll show you the necklace that goes with it <clears throat> no. Here are your bonus fish hook back earrings. Get them straightened out here real quick. And there's that generous blue bead. And this is on a finer chain. It is a longer necklace. But as you can see, it trails right down to that identical medallion. And I'll show you the crackle on this one. 
if you look really closely, these pieces are an exact match, but because of the way that these stones are procured, they are not going to be an exact identical match. Here's the crackle from the bracelet. You can see the patterning is a bit different, but because of the way that they're sourced, they're almost unique. I'm missing what? I think that's it. They're very similar. And the number on the necklace is the number 228. You can say 228 necklace or 228 set if you'd like the entire set. There's that one, and here is this one. I've got some hair items coming out as well. Is this one next? Yeah. We have this fun hair flower, and I'm just giving it a little shaky shaky to fluff it up from the packaging. But there you can see that gorgeous tie-dye. It's in a pastel pattern with hues of blue, yellow, and orange. If I bring it in closer, you'll see those colors much more more vividly here we go there now you can see the peaches and the whites a hint of green in there and these are all on a standard alligator clip which I'll show you right there I've got two of these in stock these are great for adorning a hat of course you put them in your hair but you can also Wear them on a necklace, on a bracelet, kind of like a corsage if you wanted to. The options are limited by your imagination. If you would like to get one of these flowers, we'll give it the number of number 206. Number 206. Yes, they are. They're $5.24. That includes taxes. And I ship for a flat rate of $4. But all the accessories, unless otherwise stated, will be the $5.24. And it looks like we've got some more hair accessories coming out. That's three. Here is a fun piece in a blue and white gingham. I also have this in a pink as well. I have two blue left and one pink, and I'll show you that gingham pattern. There's that gorgeous gingham and this sweet little flower. Like I said, they get a little mushed in the packaging, but they fluff right out. And it's on the same alligator clip. And we have a number of 229 for that one. Number 229. All right, we have this one was a little bit late to the party, but I have a 4th of July piece here as well. It features that plastic coating over it. And there is the free floating silver and red glitter. I think you can see it better if I pull it in. There you can see all those cute little stars. And they do float all the way in the barrette. And this barrette is a snap barrette. Hello, Nicole. I'm surprised you're still awake. And here's your barrette with your standard snap closure. How many of these red ones do I have left? Looks like I have two of these left. You're not that late. I'm only about five pieces in, dear. More than that, but yeah. And the number for those is number 231. Number 231. I'll have to show you my backpack again at the end <clears throat> all right this is the last of the newer pieces but this is a set of two in a gorgeous purple flower these are on a mini alligator clip 
and you get both of these for five dollars and twenty four cents I have two of these on hand and the number for these is the number 226 number 226 all right what do we have next mister uh, sets. all right let's grab a set and start rolling I'm doing good I finally got a little bit of dinner in and decided that I was feeling up to a live tonight and I figured I could pull one last minute see who we got Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna show some white tonight, and I do have a bit more. I've just got to get them organized and into their bins. I don't have a whole lot by way of white, but here is a cuff bracelet in a cream or off white. I'll bring it in closer for a look. Right there. You can see the polish of those white beads and a slight bit of antiquing work throughout the silver it is like I mentioned a cuff they can be stretched or pulled ever so slightly to accommodate any wrist as you can see it's set quite small and I don't want to stretch it for me because I'm not ultimately going to be the wearer what do you have? All right, if you would like this one, it is number 45. Number 45. All right, what do we have coming out? We have, well, this one's kind of white, kind of not. We have a pearl that's in a tan pearl. There's your lobster claw clasp and a two inch extender put this up on the bust so that we can take a peek at everything going on with this piece come on there we go and here she is on that thicker chain you'll see that gold bead that brown pearl there's a white pearl a cream colored pearl and a textured disc and I can bring it in closer to see the texture on that disc. See if my light's going to cooperate tonight. You're putting away your leftovers, huh? There's that texture. You can see there on that disc. And there's all the pearls and beads. <clears throat> the lucky number on this one will be the number of what get you hanging straight there number this is a fix it 80 number 80 which one is that no. okay that's fine we'll just put that in the TLC bin to give it a little bit of extra love and I think is that all we have for white tonight no we got a few more pieces oh we have some more white now paparazzi call things calls a lot of things white. Sometimes I call it clear. This is genuinely white though. I'm gonna adjust my comments so I don't miss anybody. Yeah, you had my favorite. You had Mark's beer can chicken. That is good. Has some good chicken. We had leftover pasta tonight. Trying to eat up the leftovers before they go bad. Oh, this thing is so pretty. And I have two of them, too. All right, we have a moonstone coming out. This is a gorgeous, milky white moonstone. You can see that cat eye or moonstone detail. Chicken Alfredo with steamed broccoli. Mm. That doesn't sound half bad either. Beer can chicken has been roasted with a can of beer stuffed up its bum and spiced. Look at all the scroll work. And there's that big cat eye or moonstone. I happen to know I like Mark's beer can chicken. 
We've tried to make it at home a few times, but it doesn't quite turn out as well. The number for this one is 256, and I have two of these on hand. Just a reminder that if you are interested in a grab bag, I have that offer going all the time. Mongolian pork with onion and green beans and egg rolls. That sounds good too, Robin. You show that right? Mm -hmm. All right, we have some earrings coming out for my earring lovers. Oh, these are nice ones too. These earrings are going to be set on a silver fish hook back. And there you can see the white pearls. Hello, Shelly. How you doing, my friend? Haven't had an opportunity to chat with you for a minute. There you can see the three pearls there and then the pearls along the outer edge but as i bring you in you'll see that there is a touch of rhinestones in there as well i know they tend to hide but there's your rhinestones and all those pearls on a silver fish hook back all the earrings that are on the fish hook back come with those complimentary silicone earring backs for your convenience and comfort. And it looks like we have one pair of these earrings left. And they are going to be the number 146. Number 146. Oh, I'm glad that sun finally went down. It was a scorcher here today. Oh, this one's cool. I've got another white cuff here. And you'll see that wonderful white stone in the middle. But as I bring it in closer, you'll see that it's not just a white stone, but it has a bit of a crackle to it as well. And look at the rope detail. I just love these cuffs. This one does have a little bit of a give to it. But as I've stated before, I leave the sizing up to you. And it looks like I've got one of these left. And it is going to be the lucky number of number five. All right, what do we have left in the white? Three pieces. Looks like we've got three more in the white. Wow, that would almost match with... You know what, I'm going to hold this for a minute. I think I found me a set. Y'all have to tell me what y'all think. Here's this elongated white crackle stone ring. Hello, Lucinda. How are you, love? How is little Leo doing? You tell him that Auntie's getting a box out in tomorrow's mail for him. Look at this white crackle. With all that rope detail and the silver beading on the bottom and the top. A little bit of a peekaboo side. And there's that wide stretchy back that'll fit a size 6 to 11. She Hello, Miss Cynthia. How are you tonight? Damn, we're rocking. And tell me if I'm right or wrong. Would these not be an almost perfect match for one another? I think that stone would match perfectly with the stone in this bracelet as well. If you would like this one, we'll give it the number of number 59. I love the white crackle and I love the pink crackle. The pink crackle is a little bit more rare to come upon. But trust me when I say I see that pink crackle, I run. I know I've got some coming later on in the month. I hope you're feeling better after your tummy escapade. And again, they call this one white. To me, it's clear, but here we've got that blockbuster ring. It's a wide ring on your wide stretchy back. And this one is called Millionaire's Club. 
and we'll bring it up close because I'm telling you there's some rhinestones going on in here look at all those rhinestones this is one from my own personal collection here at home being a blockbuster this one is available almost any time on my website that's pinned in the description or if you prefer I can order it for you myself either way if you'd like one of these I gave it the number of 309 309 for this one this is a fun one to wear I love seeing it sparkle in the sunshine that's the one disadvantage to going live at night you don't get the natural sunshine but trust me they are gorgeous in the sun oh and we have another white crackle this one is a knuckle to knuckle at least on me it's a knuckle to knuckle ring but you can see the trio of white crackle stones and we'll bring it in and i can describe that detail a little better because not only can you see better so can i look at the antiquing of the silver and then there's that crackle stone that does not have any crackle in it but that one does and it has almost a sun ray effect on either side and it doesn't sit too terribly high I still cannot believe you got food poisoning from popcorn. Who knew? And there's your wide stretchy back. I've got one of these. And again, this would match that cuff bracelet as well. And the number on this one is 106. 106. I never even thought you could get food poisoning from popcorn, but... I guess you learn something new all the time. All right, what color are we going to move on to next? Gold. Oh, we're going to do some gold tonight. All right, let's see what can come out. And we have a special one to show, too. Mm. Yeah. And I think we'll show one gold, and then I'll get that special one that snuck in under my radar on Sunday. All right, we have a pull adjust gold chain urban bracelet. Urban meaning it's designed for either a man or a lady. I love the pull adjusters because they fit virtually anybody. And there you can see that gorgeous gold link. And then here are the pull cords right here and you just give them a little tug to open it and you give it a little tug to close it just like so there you can see it opened right up and you just give it a little tuggy tug and close it right back up if you want one of these I've got one of these left and they are number 328 328 thank you i will write you down and put you on that shared list if anybody's got that word go ahead and toss it in because i know at least one of you has it you want to get the big piece out eventually eventually all right well the boss man says he's going to save that one for a little bit down the road let's see what we have next this is a unisex ring slightly larger in sizing so that it will fit both a man or a lady this would easily fit a size 12 you can see with the urban or the unisex pieces they do hide that stretchy back but it is in there and this one does have a bit I see you you get the word by signing up for my text alerts you can text at AHJVIP to the number 81010 and I've been throwing out a word of the night before every live anyone that posts that word will get entered into a monthly drawing for a, fee, a free 
piece of paparazzi? Uh, I don't know. I haven't heard back on, on the vendor booth yet. If the old guy who usually doesn't, isn't going to run this year, then we have no, I have nowhere to stay. No problem. And Cynthia, they just had their baby four days ago. The number on this one is going to be number 26. They had little Porter on the 1st of July. So I don't know. We've been toying with the idea of just foregoing it since we're still working on that trip for next month. But we need to get together and talk about that too. Because we need to finalize some stuff if that's going to happen. We have another gold piece coming out that is a blockbuster. And it has that super thick box chain to it. And look at those giant rhinestones at the bottom. The gorgeous hammer detail. You've got to see these stones up close. Look at that. They're gorgeous in all those facets. If you're not a fan of gold, I do have this one also in silver. Do we have a... Yep. We had a misfortune, but I can fix it. One of the earrings decided to jump ship on me, but rest assured... I've got her. I just got to get it back on the tag. Up oh, and there popped. Sometimes they pop their earring back, but there's the matching earring. And here's the second one that goes with it as well. I've just got to reattach it to the card. If you'd like this one, we'll give it the number 189. And like I said, if you want it in silver, I have it in silver also. Leave that one set out so I can put some earring backs on that. No big deal. Yeah. You know. Alright, here comes another block, but well no, that's not a blockbuster piece. But this is a gorgeous piece nonetheless. Your cat had kittens, huh? Oh, kittens are sweet. Does anybody want mine? He's being a little loud mouth this week. I prefer dogs, but... Well... Look at these looking their absolute best. You can hear little snow is wandering around. There's that thicker chain again. Well, if you don't, I can remind you too. I just don't want to be a pest. And there you can see the milky beads, but I'll bring it in closer. Where my camera will focus better. Is that me or is it raining? I thought I heard raindrops. No. One second, folks. I haven't lost you. Rottweilers. All the way. There we go. Look at that milky white bead and your gold bead and cascade all the way up throughout the necklace you also need to call your cousin sounds like you got a full plate and there's your coordinating earring and now I'll show you you have your lobster claw clasp with that two inch extender in that box, I've also got a new hairpin to show. We have a special treat coming out at the end of the show. So you'll want to stay tuned. Because I know Cynthia wants to see it. And the number for this one is number 39. I prefer the Roddy over the pit. No, actually, my, my first would be a Rottweiler. My second would be a Spitz. I want my cookie. Cookie. Rottweiler, Rottweiler or Spitz? One of the two. Cookie was his mother's dog. And she was a Spitz. And oh my goodness, was she protective of me. And that's why he wants to get me one. Because they're fiercely protective. 
but she took to me from the get-go. These are, I don't need a man, but their official name is Justin Timeless. These are set in gold, as you can see. I do have these in silver as well. The bombshell name for them is, I don't need a man to buy me bling, I can buy my own. These are one of my personal favorites. They go with any outfit. I have a pair of these in my purse. I've got them all over the place. Because I never want to get caught without some kind of jewelry on. And these are a blockbuster, so they're available anytime. And the number on these is number 38. Well, it looks like he's going to pull it out early so that you don't miss the surprise. And I know Cynthia had her eye on this one. But first I'm going to show you a hair clip. Now this is a different type of hair clip. It's actually a bobby pin. But this bobby pin is gorgeous. It's got that gorgeous pink stone and the iridescent pink ones to match it. Here we go. And there's that big pink stone. You can see the iridescence on each one of those pink rhinestones all the way to the end of your bobby pin. I've got two of these in stock. And I don't have a number for this one yet, so we'll just call it pink pin. I need your number right now. That's all right. I'm just going to call it pink pin. All right, here we go. I need your number. Oh, you can give it a number if you want. Here. All right, the boss man is going to give a number as well. So we'll call this one pink pin or the number 219. Number 219. And this next piece is going to require the bust. Oh, those are gone. I knew they wouldn't last they long. <laughs> I will write you down for those and put them in your sack. <clears throat> I actually bought these by accident one day when I was buying the other piece. I was in such a hurry to check out, I think I misclicked and clicked on them. But then I saw it and I liked it, so it's all good. And yes, we got snow hanging out and about. And now I'm just going to set them right there. And I'll write you down for pink pen. Those are done. Just toss it. I'll have to reuse it. Yeah. You sure the studs? Mm-hmm. All right, this one is a bit of a unicorn piece because she is one hard one to get a hold of. Took me five months to land this one. Let's get you looking your absolute best here. Look what came in finally. There is our oil spill Z piece. Her name is Charismatic. She is one of the most expensive pieces at $25. But look at all the colors in this one. These are very rare to get a hold of because they don't tend to stay in stock long. And with the Z pieces slowly retiring, it won't be long before this one takes its final bow. But I've got one of these up for grabs. I'll go ahead and show you your bonus earrings. On a scale of most Z pieces, this is not one of the heaviest ones. She is weighty though. There is a lobster claw clasp in here. She's hiding right in there. You can see your extender right there. And there's those gorgeous oil spill bonus earrings that come with it. And I'll even bring it in closer so you can see all the colors. 
look at all the colors in this one. You got all those blues and purples and a hint of green and that nod to yellow as well. And there they are in the earrings as well. <laughs> I'm pretty, it depends. How long have you had the set? That wasn't a call, right? I don't know. I discovered that I had two exact duplicate packages of the redstone earrings. Haven't figured out how. Yes, I can return those for you if I sold them to you. That's no problem. But there's that gorgeous oil spill. I'm going to be sad to see this one retire. If you want to claim this one, just drop in the comments oil spill. Or I have a number for her. And the number is... 236 236 yeah if you, you need to scroll i am but if you got those earrings from me i have no problem refunding those all right these are in my gold category but they are not gold these are indeed a rose gold it is a set of bangles Three, four. I'm counting them really quickly. Two, three, four, five, six. There is a set of eight bangles for five dollars. Or with tax, it would be five dollars and twenty-four cents. <laughs> and I'll show you the hammer detail. These bracelets are all identical, but they all have that same hammered stamp to them. And here they are. These would be great for anyone of any age. You can use them for many different things. You could use it to tie up a shirt. You could wrap a scarf around it. The possibilities are endless. And the number for these is the number 127. Alright, just bring them back then. And I'll let you exchange them for something else. Yeah, no problem. That's absolutely no problem at all. 127 for the set of eight. So that is no issue. I'm trying to think which red earrings they are now. And this is the last of my rose gold pieces. Oh, yeah? Rose gold. Oh. These are some rose gold hoops or elongated teardrop. There's your fish hook back. Thank you, Cynthia. There's that fish hook back on there. These are super lightweight, super, super thin. Also, in case anyone wasn't aware, you can share me across almost every platform of social media, including Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. Facebook, YouTube. You can share me out on any Twitch. Are you on Instagram? I am. Anywhere you want, you can share it out so long as it's on your personal profile. The number for the rose gold earrings is going to be the number 35. Number 35, and I'll write you down for that share. Got to get the shares in. I want to give away some bling this month. My goodness, the air is extra, extra dry. dry. It looks similar to the... Oh! Okay, I know which ones they are. Yep, no problem. Yeah, that's no problem at all. <clears throat> all right, here comes another gold necklace. 
If you have been in my VIP group today, you'll notice that I changed my logo. Let me know what you all think. I decided it was time for a refresh. This comes on a bit of a thicker tone. And it features that really thick link chain and all these gorgeous rhinestones at the bottom. Do you have an issue? Yeah, I have a bag and a piece. Which one is it? Uh, hypnotized gold. Blockbuster. That's the one that had the earring that came off the package. Mm. We'll square it away. Whatever, I know which one it is. We'll figure it out. There's all those gorgeous rhinestones. And they are shiny for sure. And it has a pair of bonus earrings. And they are these dainty rhinestones. Set on that gold fish hook back as well. And here's your up close and personal view of those. And it looks like I have one of these left. And this is one of the ones. Oh my goodness, get that lens off so you can see. There we go. This is one of the ones that would be perfect for anyone at any age. And the number is the number 41. Number 41. Do we still have Lucinda here with us tonight? If not, I'll text her later. I'll give her a minute to respond. I'm not sure if she's still with us. Or if she's up with Leo for the night. Here we've got this long gold ring. And it is encrusted in rhinestones. I am... Okay... I have decided that instead of sending your stuff in a bubble mailer, I'm going to send you a, a little box. Would that be a problem if I sent you a small box instead of a bubble envelope? Because I think the items would fit better in one of my little pink boxes. There you can see all the rhinestones hiding up in there and all that scroll work. To me, it looks like almost a heart there and there. And there's your gold stretchy back. <laughs> and the number on this ring, and I have just the one available. I'll let you know I'm going to box it up tonight. Number 339. And I'll have Dan walk it to the UPS store. Tomorrow. Yep, number 339. But I figured it would keep the stuff more safe because there's a bit that's going in it and I hate to have anything arrive broken now I don't know who my hoop people are but if you want a pair of serious hoops I'm your gal here's these giant I would say these are almost two inches in diameter if not two and a half they do have a detail that gives them a little bit of a shimmer even though there are no rhinestones on these but I'll show you the crosshatch detail it almost looks like a rope on either hoop these hoops are set on a gold post and this is the only pair that I have it's gonna be the number 129 number 129 all right, here comes another blockbuster. And this one. You don't hang fine. I know. I'm looking for my cheat sheet. This one is called The Sands of Time. And I'm just going to give that earring a little bit of coaxing here. Sometimes they get trapped up in the card. There you can see the triangles. That look like an hourglass. There's your 
inch and a half extender and your thick gold chain. There is a lobster claw clasp. And of course, I'm going to bring it in. I used to wear them too, but now that my hair's gotten a lot longer, my hair gets caught up in them quite often. So I'm tending to go for a smaller hoop. But there are the bonus earrings that you get with this necklace. And they're an exact match to all the hourglasses featured all throughout this necklace. If you do not care for this in gold, I do have it in a silver as well. And the number for this one is the number 124. Number 124. All right, we have another gold ring coming out. We've seen this one in silver. And I have it in gold as well. It's that wide band encrusted with rhinestones and there's your wide stretchy back good for sizes 6 to 11 and look at the rhinestones on here you can see that double row and that large strip of rhinestones there yeah that'll do it every time i had a brother or three that did that to me once this is absolutely stunning very comfortable to wear i have one of these in stock at the moment and their number is 320. yeah i quit wearing longer earrings when my brothers and sisters were babies and then i gave them up when jason was a baby i don't think i ever picked them back up i wear a hoop about like this these are also available these are glitzy by association in silver with the white rhinestones and you can see if you peek right in here there's a kick of rhinestones that go right up on that ledge and also i know you can't see it because of my camera angle but i've got my very colorful kaleidoscopically captivating necklace on tonight that's also available i believe i have one of these left they are one of my favorites my goal is to purchase one in every color. We have a gunmetal or a black metal with silver rhinestones. And then we have, actually, the gunmetal has the hematite rhinestones. And then there's a black with a white rhinestone as well. <clears throat> and this is another blockbuster piece that I have in a different color also. I just got to get it situated in its tag and it's almost a chain mail. Well, I don't even know what it's supposed to be. It's a fishing net. Here we've got this gold. This one's called Fishing for Compliments. I have this in silver as well. But you'll see how it's linked to mimic that of a fish net and it's got all these rhinestones sprinkled all the way throughout it does come with a bit of a different earring instead of your standard tassel it's got that wide link to match the necklace and here you go now you can see it there's that wide textured link and there's your rhinestone and here's up close to the links down below if you do not care for it in gold, I do have one in the silver color as well. And the lucky number on this one is 154. Number 154. All right, what do we have next? Last, but not by far the least. Oh, this, this is, is my beautiful. favorite. It's beautiful. All right, this one's my favorite. And I'm kicking myself for not buying more than two. Here you've got your gold tassel for your bonus earrings. Oh my goodness. Try that again. There's your gold tassel. There's your two inch extender and that lobster claw clasp. You'll see it's on a bit of a finer chain. Gotta let it spin out. And it drops 
down to that gorgeous, almost like a cream soda colored stone. Let's get that lens on so we can see the color better. Because that color is just crazy. I'm trying to move that light just a little bit so you can get a better representation. There you go. You can see that creamy yellow. Gold. Almost yellow. like a golden cream soda or a champagne. And I have two of these. And then <laughs> the number on this one is going to be 197. 197. <coughs> Pardon me, I hate to keep drinking so much tonight. But I think our humidity's dropped down to nothing. Just a reminder for you ladies, tomorrow is Wear It Wednesday. If you post a selfie, it doesn't even have to be a current selfie. Just a selfie of you wearing your paparazzi, I will enter your name into a drawing to get a free piece for the Wear It Wednesday contest. I draw for that at the end of every month. Alright, we're switching into a little bit of brass. We're going to start off with some of the antique brass. Oh goodness gracious. This is a shorter necklace, but it definitely does not lack in the detail. <laughs> oh, Cynthia, you're welcome anytime you know that, hon. Anytime. If I can survive Dan snoring, I think I can take anything. Not to mention the fact I've probably been working all night anyway. <laughs> there you'll see that thicker link chain. And look at all the detail. I'm glad to hear that your power came back on, but that stinks that it was out that long. Look at all the detail they put into stamping all of that into that antique brass. What have we got going on over there? Oh, uh, I'm just troubleshooting. Oh, we have a situation over there. Boss man's getting first-hand experience with the naughty children. And it drops down to that point. These do swing a little bit independently because they are hinged on each level. So they might give that little bit of a tinkle as you're walking by. Four o'clock yesterday afternoon until early this morning. Correct me if I'm wrong, somebody hit a power pole. Is that what I read? This piece is a one and done. I do believe at one point it was a hostess reward. And there's your bonus earring. It's a super, super wide with that same dotted detail. Which I'll pull out right now. There's your bonus earring, and they are set on that brass fish hook. If you want this one, we'll give this guy the number 260, number 260. I'm going to refresh my comments to make sure nobody's getting filtered. If I do miss your comment or a claim, do not hesitate to repeat it. Sometimes they roll quicker than I can see them. Oh, this is a fun piece. And I've got just the one left. Here's your tassel bonus for ass earrings. There's your fish hook. There's a two inch extender and your lobster claw. This is a longer necklace. But look at the pendant on this one. Look at all that scroll work and the hearts hiding in there. And it is hollow all the way throughout. But you can see right there. Absolutely gorgeous. The last one I have in stock for this one 
And it is the number 76. 76. Probably a car. If the winds weren't that high, I don't see. This one is really fun, Teresa. And it is light as a feather. You could wear it and not even realize you have it on. We have how many brass pieces left? A good handful, yep. We've got about four more brass pieces left. After yours. After this one. This is a unisex wide stretchy back ring with that tribal to me it looks tribal it's a tribal shield look at the detail on it though i love the little they're almost like little arrowheads and there's that wide stretchy back good for sizes 6 to 11. i've got one of these left and the number on this is 61. if you don't care for it in this color i happen to know i have it in silver as well he had a rough play on my last night <laughs> He did a chin plant, huh? Mm -hmm. I hate... Hold on, I'm having Facebook gremlins for a minute. Trying to finish reading all the comments and I clicked on it. And it disappeared. Well, maybe that's what he gets for trying to get on the table. I don't allow tables and counters. Well, she's trying to train him not to. All right, let's say tables and counters are on those. I love you, Facebook. Hmm. I'm betting they did have generators. Again, the number for this one is 61. Let's see what our next piece is. Cuff. We have this cuff, and the name of it is Absolute Amazon. Oh, <laughs> and there you'll see that channel in the middle. And I'll bring it in closer. That little stink pot. He's got to learn to stay off Mama's tables and counters we love you too have a great night and look at that detail what would you describe that as dan um kind of mosaic actually it's a mosaic but it kind of looks like a tire drag too depends on how you look at it i've got one of these left and the number on this one is the number 112, number 112. All right, we have another pair of hoops. I think I was having hoop dreams one day. Here's another pair of two inch hoops in brass. These are super lightweight, set on that post back, and I have one pair of these. The name on these is Lean Into the Curve. And the number on these is number 133. Number 133. Alright. We have... Oh, I wish I had something to match this. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting to find a match to this particular piece. Because it's stunning. This is set in brass, but it is a milky white stone. There's your peekaboo on the side there, and your stretchy back. But as I bring you in, this stone is very unique. It looks like it's been crushed. If the light hits it just right, you'll see how it almost has that 
crushed quality. It kind of reminds me of snow with the sun cascading off of it a little bit. It's not a moonstone. It looks, it looks like, a, like, like those uh, frozen slushies you get on the roadside. Mm hmm like that shaved ice quality to it. I've been waiting for them to bring out something to match this guy. But I have one of these, and the number on this guy is the little number two. Number two. I'm surprised they haven't brought out a necklace or something to coordinate with it yet. Exactly. Alright, this is the last of the brass. Here is your tassel earrings. And this tassel is having a bit of a temper tantrum. But we'll get that thing situated. There we go. This does feature that lobster claw clasp and that inch and a half extension and it trails all the way down to this medallion with all that gorgeous scroll work and then at the very bottom you've got that bead cap and a tassel and I'll bring it in closer so you can see that scroll. Everybody that looks at the scroll work sees something different. For me, I see hearts. So there you can see that antique brass. And there's your tassel. And if you'd like this medallion, We'll give that one the number 99. Number 99, what are we popping into next? Are we sure you going to keep going or what? I'm going to go a little bit more. Okay. Do we have anything with a pop of color in it? No, I'm doing clear shots. Okay, we'll go to rhinestones then. Rhinestones are always sparkly. And we got a handful of rhinestones that we're going to show, and then we'll call it a night when we're finished with this set. But there's a good amount here. Oh my goodness. Actually, there's not that many. There's a Turkey. Alrighty. I'm going to take oh, one like second. What's the name on her? What? What's the name on her? <laughs> Alright, here we have some post Show stopping shimmer. Post back earrings in the elongated square. It's not quite a rectangle. Not quite rectangular. That. Yeah, that's the name of it. But look at the sh shimmer that these give off. You can see it's making a reflection off my lamp here, but look at that gorgeous shimmer. These are super lightweight earrings. And they have the number. 331 for these. 331. All right. I found one that Dan likes. Let's take a peek at this one. As you heard him say, the name is Show Stopping Shimmer. Let's get her up on the bus. Come on, you. Stick put. I can tell he's getting more adventurous on you. Look at the thick silver chain. Then you've got the rings and the 
spacer lengths in between. It drops all the way down to these cascading teardrop rhinestones. This necklace does have a lobster claw clasp. And let's check and see. I can see that there's a two inch extender popping out of that tag right there. And here are your bonus earrings that come with this piece. And if I'm not mistaken, this is part of our Blockbuster collection. Come on, you stinker. There we go. There's your bonus earrings. This is a little bit on the heavier side, but it is meant to sit just below the collarbone. And the number on it is going to be the number... 186 number 186 for this one <clears throat> all right we have a pair of clip-on earrings coming out next I'm just gonna go ahead and put this lens right on right there look at these earrings that gorgeous oval with all the facets in it, surrounded by that little dabbling of rhinestones all the way around each earring. And here is your standard clip-on with that little bit of silicone added to it for extra comfort. My goodness, I'm getting dry again. Number 186, sold to Teresa. 186? Where's that? Hmm. 186. I think it's that show stopping shimmer. 186. There you go. All right, Miss Teresa, I've got it, and I'll get it in your bag. Write it down. Thank you so much. If you like these clip-on earrings, we will give it the number of 70. Number 70. Alright. These are quite similar, aren't they? Similar, but not the same. They're quite similar. One's oval, the other one is circle, circular. And these are not a clip-on. I have another pair of rhinestone earrings they are slightly different they're slightly different than the clip-on we'll bring it in closer on that one and there's your rhinestones surrounding that elongated square you can see all the facets in that large rhinestone they are set on a silver standard post back and the number for these is the number 194. Number 194. All right, we're going to come up on a ring. And I know that Cynthia likes rings. Can't say I blame her. This is a daintier ring. Set on a thin, stretchy back. Still good for sizes 6 to 11. And this ring kind of reminds me of the Infinity. The way that it's designed. There's that little bit of bling all the way throughout. And then that larger circle in the center. And Nicole is back with us. Welcome back. And there's your oval over there as well. I don't know why. It kind of reminds me of somewhat of an Infinity symbol. Yeah, now might be a good time to fall asleep and bring in our rings. <laughs> I know. They're tempting, aren't they? I love how it's got that peekaboo right in the center of both of those ovals. Got one of these left, and the number on it is number 134. 134.
You know what? I did. I need to write an arrow. I wrote it on the wrong section. It's still under the same name. Just all right. What do we have next? All right, we have. Ooh, this is another daintier piece. This would be great for anyone of any age. Oh my God. <laughs> Here's your bonus. Little rhinestone earrings. Here's your inch and a half extension. And that lobster claw clasp is right there. And I'll go ahead and sling this one up. This one features trios. Once I get it up here in the lane proper. Oh. Rhinestones, and I'm trying to get them all laying just so. There we go. There you can see the trio, and then the double rhinestone. Here we are up close. Come on, focus, focus. Focus, focus. There you'll see your trio of rhinestones. And for some reason, these like to tease me and flip. But I promise they do lay flat. Oh, come on. Let's see if I can get it to work out a little bit more. I'm trying to get them all showing off for us. There we go. There's your duo and the trio. And it repeats all the way up the necklace. How many of these do we have? We have two of these. So if you would like one of these, the number on this one is number 108. Number 108. All right. Is this the... This is another one. Okay, this is part of our Blockbuster collection. And this one is called Hollywood Hills. And if you like this one, I have a coordinating necklace for it as well. There you'll see that thicker chain link. And look at the rhinestones. You got the two outer, large, two inner. And then the farthest edge is large as well. I'm going to go ahead and bring that lens out. That one is gorgeous. I know. Beautiful. And there is the clusters of rhinestones that travel the entire mid-length of this necklace on either side. And I will show you your bonus earring that comes right along with it. And there is your rhinestone fish hookback earring with the double rhinestone there as well. I have two of these. And the number on this one, I happen to know that this is one of Barb's personal favorite necklaces, 183. Number 183. Girl. I'm going to check just to make sure that Facebook's not playing dirty with me. I know sometimes it does. Alright, we have a ring. Oh my goodness. Cynthia, here's a ring. This one has that open peekaboo detail. And that crisscross, and I'll bring it in closer. This is set on a wide, stretchy back. Again, good for sizes 6 to 11. But look at the rhinestones sprinkled through each layer. So fun, and it would go with any outfit. And there's that wide, stretchy back. And the number for this is going to be the number... 
11. Number 11. Alright, what do we have? Show me what you've got. Oh, here's another one. I know Cynthia has this in a different color. Look at the open airiness of this ring. And then I'll bring you in for all the rhinestones. Look at them. They're just sprinkled all the way throughout. I believe you have this one with a purple stone that runs up the middle. If I'm not mistaken. I like the airiness. Especially in the summertime, it lets your skin breathe a little more. And I have one left. <clears throat> and the number of this one is 85. I thought you had this one with the purple in it. What do we have coming up, coming up? These, and then I get a matching set. Well, he's making sets. Must no, be. It's pre made. Must be getting good when the boss man can see it's a set. Now, this one is absolutely crazy. I'll start off showing you your bonus. They're okay. Here's your bonus rhinestone earring. You'll see it's on that thin, delicate chain. But there's your lobster claw, two inch extender. Look at the pendant on the end of this one. Let's get that lens on here. And there she is in all of her glory with that dimpling on the sides. That large faceted teardrop. And all the rhinestones up either side leading right to the top point. This one does have a little bit of weight to it. But it's not overly heavy. And I have just the one of these left. If you like this pendant, it's number 40. Try that again, number 40. It is set with a silver backing just to add added stability to that center stone. Now these little earrings are called my second castle. And they are set on your standard post back. And they have that large round stone in the center. And it's encrusted with the little smaller rhinestones all the way around her. I'm giving it a minute because I can't tell. If it glitched on me, or if it's just the rhinestones. There you can see those rhinestones. And there's your post back. I have... You like the back almost as much as the front? Sometimes they put a lot of detail in the backing of those. The number for these is 125. <coughs> Pardon me, number 125. I don't know why I cannot get hydrated tonight. Okay, I have a question for everybody since you're still here. Who would be interested this weekend in doing a pajama party? I'll wear my pajamas. You wear your pajamas and I'll bring some bling. Anybody interested in a pajama party? We have right, start with matching earrings. a nice little set. We've seen these in gold. Here they are in silver. These are my I don't need a man or well, just in time. Clear, actually. Yeah, but they're set in silver. These are the I don't need a man. And I am willing to separate this set because I put it together myself. I'm missing a number. What number are you missing? Uh, I got it. Make and here's the number on these. That's going to be the number 24 for Just In Timeless. 
in silver. You love a good pajama party. All right, who said that? Cynthia. No, somebody said a comment that I liked, but I gotta find it. Where did it go? Facebook is playing with me. Where did it go? Oh, Teresa's always up for a party, so it sounds like we're having a pajama party this weekend. Yeah, Cynthia likes it. But there's number 24. And it is paired up with this bracelet. The name of this bracelet is Come and Get It. This is a very, very blinged out bracelet. The thing is surrounded in all those round rhinestones. It's set on that stretchy cording that you can see right there. This is a generous stretch. I'll show you right here. It gives a generous stretch even for my larger wrist. I have no problem stretching that guy right on there. <laughs> yeah, you two can be quite the right when you get going at each other. If you would like just the bracelet. It is, like he said, number 93, or 3, <laughs> 93, or if you want the set, you can just say 93 set. Is that? One more. All right, this is a piece de resistance. It is a stunner for sure. Hold on. If it's the one I'm thinking. This is going to be our last piece of the evening. But you're going to love it. I'm going to warn you ahead of time, she's heavy. But when you see the size of it, you'll understand why. This is a beauty. Isn't it though? I need to get that in my own collection. She's got a little bit of weight to her. All right, we'll start out with your bonus earrings. Once I get them uncrossed here, there's your bonus rhinestone earring. There's your extender, and this has a really long chain on it. But I do happen to know a trick with these chains to shorten it, and I'll share the trick with you. Do you want to keep going? I don't care. Oh. It's up to the gals. We'll ask your people. There's your link chain. There's the very, 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 very top. And it's got the three rhinestones. But look at that stone. Well, a little bit. There's that hammer detail at the very top there. And there's that large faceted rhinestone. She is a little bit on the heavier side. And with it having a bigger opening here, you could unhook the chain and crisscross it through here to shorten the length on her. They both said, wow. This one is definitely a stunner. It's big, but it's beautiful. It's a big one, and it's a long one. But like I said, all you'd have to do is unclip it, crisscross that chain, and feed it right through there and it was short and that thing right up for you this is a blockbuster so i can get plenty of these anytime and this one is called spellbinding sparkle it does have that silver detailing on the back as well to help stabilize that large stone And this one, I happen to know, looks amazing in the sunshine. It is every bit of prism. If only it didn't have the silver backing. But, there she is. And the number for this one 
is going to be the number 17 for the big beauty. Number 17. I'm not taking your crush, but I just really want to keep going. Do you want to keep going, or are you girls getting tired tonight? I'm going to pull out a bonus piece. I've been holding this one back. I have another one. But it needs a little tender loving care. And I know where to get more of these as well. And these are just crazy. Wow. Yeah. All right. That's beautiful. That's a prism right there. Here we go. We're going to show just the earrings and we're gonna lead up to the grand finale she has to work early alrighty then this will be the last piece of the night and I'm feeling generous enough that I'll even part with my own if you want it I'm just trying to wiggle that little earring around so that it is going to be haven it is going to let's put this on here the rest of the girls? well i think nicole might have fallen asleep there's your bonus earring set in silver it does have a bit of a different chain to it but there's your lobster claw clasp and the two inch extender but wait for the pendant on this one look at that pendant if I flip it I know it doesn't look like much up close that is a little rhinestone chip that is on either side of this necklace I'll show it to you from a oh. uh, I knew it would go I knew this one would go look at that guy and it's completely hollow so you could put it in a window or wear it as a necklace but i saw this guy and i just knew i couldn't pass up on it you can see it's creating a prism on the back of my hand i don't have a number for this one there we go well dan says he's got a number for him so we'll give this one a number of three forty nine, and I have a way to get maybe a handful more of these. So if anybody wants one, don't hesitate to ask. I will look this one down for you. Well, I do have two, so. The other one just needs a minor repair to her, and she'll be good as new. <laughs> what number did we get that? 349. Okay, Teresa, 349. we're gonna call it a night with that one but thank you ladies for spending part of your evening with me I know Cynthia has to go to work early in the morning and I don't want to make her sleepy or late for work so we'll go ahead and wrap things up if you are watching the replay please don't hesitate share out this video doesn't matter if I'm live or not, but if you see that red button up in the corner, I am live. Feel free to send me either a number or a screenshot of any pieces that you would like to claim. And I will be in contact with you about invoicing and we will go from there. With that being said and done, thank you so much for joining me. And again, I'm Angela, your independent consultant with Paparazzi Jewelry and Accessories. Have a great night, and I look forward to meeting you again soon. Good night, gals.